Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Andreas Buzo. Uh, I originally come from Hungary. Uh, I've been living in Switzerland, Geneva for the past nine years or so. Uh, I'm a full-time father, I have two little daughters at home. Uh, I'm a WordPress enthusiast, been working with it for ten years. Uh, when I work, I do customer support work for the events calendar and all its uh, additional plugins. Uh, uh, I do some web design, some web development. I have a bit less time for it now, but I still try to do something on that. And in my very spare free time, I'm running a blog on DV Magazine. You can guess that it handles about the DV theme, which is pretty popular. Uh, my talk is inspired by my work. As I said, I'm doing customer support work at Modern Tribe for the events calendar. For our plugins, we put out a new release, an update every three weeks. With these updates, we usually uh, publish a blog post saying what's coming in this update, what have we fixed, what are the new features, and we also tell the users that, hey, before you do any updates, create a backup of your site, and if you can, test uh, the updates on a staging site, just to make sure that everything works and that your website doesn't break. Well, what do the users do? And they see that little blue icon on the top. You have three new updates. Like, I got some new stuff for free. <laughs> Update. <laughs> a couple minutes later, they see a broken website, and then they go to the support forums, ours or whatever, whatever other plugin developer, or theme developer, and start cursing. And you guys broke my website, and I want my money back, and I need your help immediately and yesterday, and fix this for me. And that's when I go. Like this. <laughs> so, what is a staging site? A staging site, this is the definition from Wikipedia, a staging site is nothing else than an exact copy of your website where you can fool around, you can do whatever you want, and your visitors to your live website will not see a thing. So it's basically a safe environment uh, to test out different things. This is a popular thing in uh, WordPress uh, sessions, raise your hand. So please raise your hand if you have a website or manage a website that runs on WordPress. Okay, almost all. Raise your hand if you have any plugin or theme installed on your website. So you are all affected by this. Now I'm going to hide, oh, okay, why not? So why aren't people using uh, staging sites, uh, even though we always recommend it? I was trying to come up with ideas why, and this is what I came up with. Uh, they think it takes a lot of time, or it's superfluous because they have a backup, or they don't know how to create a website, or they just simply like the adrenaline rush, like, let's see if I break something. <laughs> You have, or they haven't thought about it. Thank you very much. And the other idea is why some people don't have a synchronizing the data back. Synchronizing the data back to the live site. The database. The database. Okay. Anything else? Cost, it costs too much money to run two websites. Costs too much money to run two websites. They need to update better. I'm sorry. They need. Well, if they update it, I think they better. They want less followers, like the, the Facebook. So they have more audience. Uh huh. Okay. That's also awesome. okay. So in this presentation, actually, I'm gonna hide now behind my computer screen and walk you through a demonstration on how you can set up a staging site, and I'm gonna show you how actually easy it is and it doesn't take too much time. I'm gonna keep talking and hopefully you keep hearing me even though I'm hiding. Uh, these are the plugins that we are going to be using. Uh, uh, WordPress backup plugin. I chose backup backwp up. You can use basically any backup plugin that's out there, free or premium. We're going to use WP staging for creating a staging site. We're going to use Odin One WP migration for doing a migration uh, in the second phase. And the last one is not a plugin, it's a software for your computer, which is a local by flywheel, which basically a software for giving you a local server environment where you can install a website and clear on with it on your computer without uh, putting it live uh, anywhere on the internet. 
So let's start the demonstration. Uh, I have created a nice website for this occasion. Uh, put there some blog posts. Let's pretend that this is my regular blog and I do blogging here and I want to create a staging site of this one. What is the first thing that I need to do before I do anything? Any guesses? Backup. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I have my plugins here. I'm just uh, already installed them so we don't waste time with that here. I activate uh, the backup plugin. Now I need to find it where it is. Hello. Here. And we. First, with this, we need to create a job. Uh, what the backup will contain. You can do all the settings. I'm not going to bore you with that at the moment. All backup plugins are uh, slightly different. So basically, I just click on <coughs> this my first backup template. I'm just going to run this so that we have a backup of, of the website. Depending on the size of your website, the number of plugins you use, the number of uh, media you have in your media library, the time of this will depend from a couple minutes up to maybe half an hour. Since this is not a too big of a website, it should finish pretty fast. Once the backup is done, I strongly recommend that you download it and keep it somewhere safe. Don't leave it on the same server as your website is, because if something happens to that server, you are screwed. So the backup has been done, and I can go, oops, go to the backups here no. and download it to my computer where I think it will be safe right and yeah I'm just gonna put it there so now it's <coughs> Now I can start working on the staging site. I'm activating WP staging for that. And this is the screen that you're uh, greeted with. You'll see one nice button here. Create new staging site. So let's do that. What are we going to name it? I'm just going to name it staging for the sake of ease. If you want to go deeper, you can select which database tables you want to replicate, which files do you want to replicate or not replicate. I leave the default settings and I start cloning. It will take me through the, through the regular steps and if we're lucky, then in a couple minutes, hopefully even less, we will have a staging site ready. Now here you see the uh, address of the website is uh, andrasgusail.com. The name I gave to the staging site was staging, so it should create a staging site on andrasgusail.com slash staging, and it should look exactly the same as the live website. Until we wait, I just would like to sign and say thank you for our hosting. Uh, they are hosting my website and I'm pretty much satisfied with them. So I can wholeheartedly recommend them. Yes, of course. Do um, we understand why the, the staging site is a subdirectory of the main page? Uh, this is how this plugin works. It, uh, it makes it easy. Uh, it will show as a subdirectory, but from the main side you will not uh, basically reach it. There will be no link put on your live website. You will need to enter in the address bar the slash staging yourself. You can log into the administrative interface of that. I will show you that in, uh, in a minute. And which database will be used? The staging database will be used. The new one? The new one, yes, exactly. Ah, okay. So I'm going to, this is my, still the, the original site. I'm just refreshing, nothing has changed there. Here it said, congratulations, open staging site. So we're gonna do that. I need to log in here. And there we go. Uh, 
You can see in the address bar that we're already on staging in the admin interface. What this plugin does nicely is they color the top bar to orange so that you see that this is not your live site, this is your staging site you're working with. Uh, if we visit it on the front, you can see it looks exactly the same. Now, just for the fun of it, I'm going to make a modification to, I'm just going to edit this post and change the title. Okay, so we did the modification. This is the staging site. I refresh. Done. This is my live site. No changes there. So basically on the staging side you can do any kind of modification, you can deactivate plugins, uh, put there a new theme, do development, check how it looks like. If a plugin update comes out, <coughs> do it on your staging site first, update it, check how the staging site looks. If it looks good, you're, you know that you're kind of safe, you can update the plugin on the, on the live site as well. So this is uh, how you do a live staging site. If you're done with it, if you don't need it anymore, it's pretty easy to delete. You just go back to your live site from where you created it. And go to WP Staging. Here you will see a list of your staging sites. I only have one. And I just click on Delete. Yes, I want to totally remove it. From here it's gone, let me check the admin, oh, it's not there anymore, let me check the front end, that's also gone, let me check the live site, it's still there and working. So this was what, about 5 minutes, uh, in 5 minutes we created a staging site live, an exact copy of our website, we could do changes there, we can do any modifications. Uh, and once you're done, you can, and you don't need it anymore, you can just remove it. You can repeat this as many times as you want, you can do it every two weeks, or you can just leave your staging site there and keep it running and keep testing on the same one if you want. Two quick questions. Can yes. You, can you update the live site from the staging site? There are options for that as well. I haven't found any free options to do that, but uh, this WP Staging plugin has a premium version which will allow you to do that. So basically you do the changes on your staging site uh, and with a click of a button all those changes will be put back to your live site and then you don't need to do again the updating separately. And then can you re-update the changing site from the live site? So if you make changes on your live site rather than creating a whole new staging site can you just update your staging yes. site to get the Yes, with, the, with premium versions it usually is possible to synchronize the live site and the staging site back and forth. Okay. Um, uh, personally I'm using for backup a premium plugin from iThemes called Backup Buddy which has uh, staging site features and uh, I regularly pull the live site to the staging site and then do the changes and push it back and it works really nicely. Uh, usually in free plugins that option is not available because plugin developers uh, don't have, uh, need to earn some money. Uh, so this was our live version of the staging site. Create a backup and then create a staging site, play around and then delete if you need not be it. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a staging site on your computer, so it's not out on the web, it uh, gets on your computer and you can play around with it there. For this we're going to use Local by Flywheel, that uh, software which uh, sets you up with a server environment on your PC. Again, we start with a backup, we did that previously. Then for this we will need a database export with uh, all-in-one WP migration. So let me just quickly activate that. Here we go. And we, I don't want to export now everything. I will just need the database. And I'm going to save it on my computer. So 
So now I have a copy of the database in a file on my computer. Now we go over to local by flywheel. Uh, here I already have a staging site, site set up, uh, but if you want to set up a new site, basically this will set you up with a blank WordPress installation, as if you just installed WordPress out of the box. Just click on the plus, go through the settings, give it a name, uh, and it sets you up with a site uh, like this one. I'm not going to do that due to lack of time now, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to start this website, starting the server, and let's view the site. It usually needs a couple seconds. So here's the blank WordPress installation. This is what you get out of the box. Now, next step, uh, yeah, we did this one. Now we copy the WP contents folder from the backup. And here we go. So on the left side, this is where my staging site is installed. I navigate to, w, uh, to the root folder of it. I look for the file that I just backed up previously, which contains the files and my WP contents folder. I just drag it over here. Four thousand items. Not sure why. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have that much saved there. Okay, so basically this copies all my plugins, my themes, and all the uploads from my live site to this new WordPress installation that doesn't have anything yet. Unfortunately, we cannot continue until that is done. So we we'll need to wait a couple seconds. I'm sorry about that. Meanwhile, any questions? Feel free. With those plugins that you've just shown for creating the staging site, do they have options for staging it to another server, or is it, are they focused on just working in the, on the same? In the, same uh, the WP staging is uh, on the same server in the same installation folder. Okay. I'm okay. not sure if the pro version allows you to. Uh, push it to a different server, it might, I believe it might be an option. Okay, and the one that you use yourself? Uh, anywhere. Okay. But which one do you use? Uh, I use Backup Buddy. Backup Buddy. Question? Yes. Um, this, uh, this solution to create the staging will basically clone it on the same server. Yeah. What if you don't have space for that? Do you have any solutions for creating staging? Yes. Automatically, outside of the... Automatically outside. Uh, with the pro version of that plugin, you, you possibly do, yes. And on with their own servers? Sorry? On their own No, on, on whatever server. On you, whatever. Can, you can, uh, or with the plugin I use, with Backup Buddy, you can do whatever. You need to set up the site uh, and then pull all the live content from your live site over or migrate it over to the other server and then you can work with it. You can establish a connection between the two and sync up and down afterwards the way you want. So we have uh, copied the content folder. Now we need to import the database. Uh, let's quickly log in here. <coughs> so if we go to plugins, we already see everything, because we just copied them, we will need, uh, sorry, the migration plugin this time. We go to migration and we need to import. I'm just going to pull the file over here. It was this one imports the database from the live side. Yes, I want to overwrite everything. 
Okay, the import has been done. Now I need to save the permalink settings. Uh, I'm not sure why I need to log in again, but let's do that. Uh, because now it has the username and the password from the live site already. Should have. Yes. So here we're saving the permalinks twice as instructed. Do you know why twice is this twice? Uh, I think just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sure why they. You must save your permanent structure twice. Okay? <laughs> Might work with one. Make, just to be sure, save it twice. Uh, if I look at the plugins, thank you. Uh, you see that before nothing was activated. Now already everything is that was on the live side. And let's check the front end. Here we're on the local web server on the local side and all the content is there. You can start playing around, changing stuff and your live website will not be affected at all. So this is how you can uh, set up a staging site on a live server or on your local server, play around with it, test out whatever you need and once you feel safe that it, all the updates work well, then do it on your live website. This will save you lots of uh, hours uh, of frustration uh, in case your website would go uh, uh, wrong, you know, in case it would be wrong. And it, basically this is the end of the demonstration. Uh, if you have any more questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. Now or in the coffee break. Or So uh, it's a very good it was a very good presentation to see how you can do it without being technically minded. I suppose the I use at work is yeah, extremely complicated <laughs> and that looks a lot easier. Um, just talking about local local by flywheel, that's not I've heard about it, I've never tried it out. Is that have you compared that with vagrant to run a local I machine? Have never used vagrant. You've never okay. Uh, I started using local by flywheel about four months ago. Uh -huh. Before that, I was using XAMPP. You might be familiar yeah. with that. That requires a bit more tweaking and manual setup and whatnot. Local by Flywheel is super easy to use, uh, and I rarely had any issues with it. Okay. So you can put the input the WordPress into the local by Flywheel. Yes, the local by Flywheel is give, gives you a server environment for WordPress basically. So uh, if we still have two minutes. Two minutes, yes. Local by flywheel. Well, once you install, you will not see these two here. It will be blank. This is how you add a new website. Just click on the plus. Give it a name. Uh, stick with the defaults. Give a username. Uh, add site. Adding. Sometimes it needs to download some small stuff from the internet. Uh, but basically this runs in half a minute, maybe one minute, and then your WordPress installation is there and ready. <coughs> there, the new is ready, we see the green. If, if you don't see it, then you need to start the website here with the button. Let's view the site. New.local, and I have a new WordPress site up. This was one and a half minutes, maybe. I haven't seen any faster way of setting up a WordPress website uh, locally or remotely. Yes. Can you configure default um, fields, like a default theme to be put up? No, it will always install what the current default theme for WordPress is. Currently it's 2017. Uh, I believe, uh, let's quickly check, we are here in the back end. Uh, yeah. I think it does. Yeah, it, it does give you 2015, 2016 as well. As someone who has uh, broken several WordPress websites by running login <laughs> updates on uh -huh. the sites, and um, when you use the WP staging uh -huh. method, is it really a separate instance of WordPress? Yes. So, because sometimes the the breaking of the site. You break 
the actual WordPress install, in fact, depending on what Once you have broken it, don't create a staging site from that. <laughs> that, that I know, but what I'm saying no, is, is there's really no risk. If you're working on that WP staging site, okay, besides something that might affect the server itself, mm -hmm. which is another question, but in terms of things that you can do to WordPress, it's totally... It basically, it basically creates a separate WordPress installation in a subfolder, so it's totally separate, and it creates new database tables for the WordPress installation. So the tables are also separate, and the folder is also separate. It's basically disconnected from your website, from your your life. The tables website. are in the same. Database. They are in the same database, but they are they have a different prefix. Okay. That can be true, I think. I'm sorry. That can be several possibility, but you have to have two separated table ones. That yeah. How it works? That I think there will be different solution. Uh, you, it can be through the, 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 the database tables. It can be uh, uh, databases or different tables. I think. Uh, there are different kinds of solutions. There are different kinds of solutions and uh, mm -hmm. with other plugins uh, you will have different options. Okay. This plugin specifically does it on the same uh, server because a lot of users uh, don't have technical knowledge, don't know about hosting, creating subfolders in the server, and this gives you a one-click solution for them. The WordPress instance wouldn't have the permissions to create a new database, for example, so it would yeah. create tables in the same database. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Last, last yeah. question. Last question. Uh, how do you push like? Is there a very easy way to, to push the, to uh, the live server? From when the you have the premium version of WP staging uh, uh, from I, Flywheel, I mean, sorry. From Flywheel, if you want to push live from Flywheel with this free version, that's not possible. But if you purchase hosting at Flywheel, then you connect your Flywheel hosting with the local by Flywheel, and then you can basically with the push of a button push your website live. Thank you very much. Thank you.